Welcome to Dr. Mix Injection number 5 Turn mono into stereo Mono is good Mono is really good In fact, most of the important parts of a mix are mono But what happens when you have a mono sound but really you wanted a stereo sound? Well, let me show you a couple of ways that you can achieve that So, on today's example I've got again Oyolo but I'm focusing on this ARP noise yeah, it's just like a yeah, this is pretty cool, but it's like very mono, it can be very boring so let me show you ways to make it stereo number one, duplicate tracks yeah, now I'm going to pan this to the left and I'm gonna pan this to the right alright, now we have two of them except the first one I'm gonna high pass, so I'm gonna cut out the low end and the next one I'm gonna do exactly the opposite how's that? so the result is this <laughs> you can adjust it a little bit, I think that maybe this could open a little bit more and this could close a little bit more like like this maybe let's listen to it again it's really weird it makes your head wanna go like like that but it's very cool and also again if you turn it into mono it still works no problem let me show you another way that you can turn a mono sound into stereo what have we got here I think I've got Rene singing here so I'm gonna do the same so I'm going to duplicate this track this is the original one this is the duplicated one let's pan the original one to the left let's pan the new one to the right and then I am going to slightly delay track number two let's see what happens here well, maybe this is a little bit too much. How about um, 30? Yeah, it's cool, right? I mean, I if you put it into mono, it's gonna sound a little bit chorusy. You know, so it's not gonna work for everything, but uh, I find that this usually for pads and, uh, you know, for certain sounds it works well. But, you know, this is a completely legitimate effect also on vocals. Turn mono into stereo, baby, because stereo life is great. <laughs>